Lai, the current vice president, encountered repeated attacks from China. Called a dangerous separatist the DPP does not represent mainstream public opinion on island. Beijing, after being elected as winner of vote on Saturday, added that vote would not prevent inevitable tendency of China's unification. The current vice president Lai was in a three-way race with Hu Yu of conservative Kuomintang and former Taipei mayor of Taiwan People's Party founded in 2019. According to results of the Central Election Commission on Saturday, 40.2% of votes received. The opponent Hu accepted the defeat and congratulated Lai for his victory. He also apologized to KMT supporters for not being able to remove the DPP. Co accepted defeat. Lai. In a victory speech, he thanked his two opponents for accepting his two opponents. He said, Oram, I would like to thank the people of Taiwan for writing a new department in our democracy. He added that he hopes to return to healthy regular changes with China and reiterates the Desire for honor parity based talks. Responding to Law E's win, Beijing's Taiwan Affairs Office spokesman Chen Binhua said in a statement by the state news agency Xinhua, Taiwan is China's Taiwan. He said, Our stance in solving the Taiwan question and realizing the national re merger continues to be consistent, and our determination is as solid as a rock, he said. In a statement, he said he would comply with China's single China principle and firmly oppose the separatist activities aimed at Taiwan independence and foreign intervention. Taiwan's elections are of great importance due to the controversial political status of the region. While he has been self-ruled since the 1940s, China is still claiming the island and outer regions and has not excluded its use of force to reach ambitions. As went to surveys, China condemned Lai as a dangerous separatist, said that if he won, would be a threat to peace in the region and that it was an election between elections, peace war. In his speech, Lai Victory said that self-governing island managed to see the attempts to influence vote in a distinct shift in China, but at same time, Taiwan from China on the threat and intimidation of promised merger in recent years. China has increased the military pressure on Taiwan and has created periodically concerns about a potential occupation. China President Xi Jinping said that at the last New Year address, Taiwan's unification with China was inevitable. No matter what Taiwan does here, there is a feeling that China will travel its own way. Tony Cheng reported that Al Jazeera reported from Taipei, said, I think Lai like other candidates. He made an effort to remain open to dialogue. But they are very aware that this will depend on what Beijing wants, he added. Cheng said that China won Lai Yi's election and did not want to see DPP's vote for war. These are very provocative words. But we have seen that Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen has